welcome back to another video here on my channel. I'm Shantae Marie and I'm a lifestyle vlogger and I literally make content in hopes that it can help you guys out in some way, shape or form. So if you're new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button now if you haven't already and let's just go ahead and jump into the video. Today I'm gonna to be telling you guys the top 10 things that I feel like y'all need in your life, you need to carry in your go bag, you need to have, if you are going to be in the military, you should probably consider carrying these things. Thing that I'm going to say, and this is something that like I personally don't carry with me, it's honestly like I don't even, honestly I don't even like talking about it on my channel, but I'm just gonna put it out there because a lot of you guys might be new. You make sure that you have some sort of contraceptive with you and the only reason that I say that is because for some reason in the military people just be, they just be doing things that they don't intend to do and you guys will find out if you haven't been to basic or AIT there is a lot of issues with like STIs and stuff and yeah, if you're gonna be at some sort of a school or a situation like that, I highly recommend taking them. Now, let's not get it twisted. Don't be taking that stuff to basic training with you because, I mean, it's contraband. Like, they will literally smoke the shit out of you. So, um, any other school besides that, though, I recommend making sure that you're better safe than sorry just because, like, if I can tell you, like, the they, they had scabies when I went to AIT. Like, come on now. So, I am just saying, protect yourself. Number two is going to be a hard drive. Now, this is something that I didn't really learn about until I went on deployment, but people are going to have things that you may need for your career or just things that you would like to have to be able to see on your own time on your computer and whatnot and having a hard drive just really works i recommend getting at least like one terabyte because i've used mine i use mine still to this day all the time and people will share like movies music pictures anything that you could even think of i mean i have files on mine of 25 uniform stuff that i wanted that other people on deployment had, but I didn't have access to it as a National Guard member. So you need, you need a hard drive. The next thing is going to be your social security card and something with your DOD ID number on it. So there's kind of this process right now where they're switching from using like social security numbers to the DOD ID number more often than none. And that is on the back of your CAC card. So it's easy to get it off of there, but making sure that you have your CAC and your social security card with you is important in my opinion because you never know. And if you don't have your social memorized, which by the time that you leave basic training, I'm sure that you will have that memorized, um, it just helps to have that with you. I don't leave the house without mine. Number four is a Bluetooth speaker. This doesn't seem like it's that important, but when you are driving in a Humvee, doing different things in the military, there's a lot of times where you're like, man, I just want some music, and a Bluetooth speaker is a game changer. It can bump up the morale of the room in a hot minute. Number five, I put a travel blanket or a travel pillow. A lot of times they make these at the PX. They're like special special items that it's kind of smaller. So the blanket will like shove into the pillow, um, just like a travel size one because you never know. Like I, once you go through basic training, you can sleep anywhere. And the fact that you're not in basic training anymore, I mean, if you can have the comfort of a pillow and a blanket, you may as well. Next is going to be freaking baby wipes. Baby wipes, baby wipes, baby wipes. They come in so handy. I kid you not, you never know. You never know when you're gonna need to take a hoe bath, for one, because you may be in the field and it's like, baby wipes are life changing. Uh, you can clean your freaking weapon with baby wipes. Um, there are so many things that baby wipes can be used for, but you need them in your life. 
Number seven is a Gerber. Uh, this pretty much speaks for itself, but I don't know how many times I'll be doing things, even at work every single day, which I'm like reclassing the 42 Alpha, so I, I didn't think that I would ever need one, but like you need a Gerber. No matter what MOS you are, you need a freaking Gerber when you're in the military. Number eight, I put a multi-charging port. So I actually bought, like it's a square and it has USB ports. There's five USB ports in this little box and it comes in so handy. It can charge five devices at one time and also it holds like 72 hours worth of charge or something. I paid like 72 bucks for this thing, but you need that because the amount of electronics that you probably are going to take with you places is, I mean, you need it in your life. Number nine, I put some sort of waterproof paper and a, a pen that can write upside down. And by writing upside down, I mean like, if you were to hold the paper like this, that you could like write on it without the pen ink stopping, because you just always, you should always have a pen and paper handy anyways, but especially at basic training, I had the write in the rain notebook on me at all times and it came in so handy because you sweat so much at basic training that you're like sweating through your uniform and if I wouldn't have had the waterproof paper, I wouldn't have been able to take notes on some of the stuff that we had to do and there are times where you need to write stuff down. So I highly recommend write in the rain notebook paper and try and get a pen that can write upside down. So number 10 and the last thing that I really think comes in handy is to always basically make sure that you have travel size um, hygiene products with you, mainly travel size toothbrush and toothpaste. And if you don't want to carry that much crap, I personally use like the Wispies um, toothbrushes because it has like a little bead of toothpaste already in them. Uh, you never freaking know when you're going to need those. And the Wispies, the back end of it is actually a toothpick as well. So you need that. And then on top of that, uh, normally you're going to have water with you. Obviously you have to take water with you everywhere in the military. But, um, another thing that I would lump in with needing for hygiene stuff is they make these towels that you can get them at the PX. I'm sure you can order them on Amazon. So if I find them, I'll link them in the bottom, but these towels are like microfiber. So they're like super, super absorbent. Now it's $20 for one towel at the PX, but this came in so handy for me. I purchased my first one for my deployment and it would be like I would dry myself off in the shower and by the time that I made it back to my room, the towel was already dry. So just think about if you're in like a field situation or a situation where you got to just throw everything in a bag and go, I would 10 times rather have a $20 towel that dries instantly than having a bag of soaking wet clothes or food that has a hint of my wet clothing smell um, with me. So those towels are like life saving. And yeah, I, I, if I could just like get the military to automatically give us those, it would be freaking amazing. But no, of course they're $20 a towel. I mean, what do I expect? So those are the 10 items that I feel like everybody needs. You need it in your go bag. You need it in your life. Even if you are in the military, I feel like these things come in really handy to just carry with you. A lot of them I have in my vehicle. So that is going to be the end of this video, guys. If you guys want to see more content like this, you guys know where to leave your comments. I'm always responsive and I follow back on social media. So hit your girl up and if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.